the third commentator. All right, but in the meantime, as we move on into Loser's Top 6, we've got Fawn versus Raptor. Fawn pulling out the Duck Hunt here, as opposed to the uh, Wario that we've been seeing uh, most of tonight. I can definitely see Wario versus Yoshi not being a fun matchup for Wario. Yeah, Wario is very... Uh, it definitely like needs those long combos that Yoshi is just going to be able to double jump uh, armor out of. Exactly. And it's like, no, 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 you need to be able to combo as Wario. Yeah. Meanwhile, with Duck Hunt, all you have to do is get those hits after hit after hit, and like you said right there, just armoring out with that double jump. Yeah, and I think this is this matchup is definitely going to be much better for Fawn, just because like her set play with this character is so strong. Like, yes, Yoshi is going to be able to like double jump armor out of a gunman or a can, but after that, he's used his jump. And Fawn is going to... Fawn's going to have options. Absolutely. I got to stop saying absolutely. <laughs> As a transition. Go with like, positively. <laughs> positively, <laughs> incredulistically. Yeah. Instead of absolutely insane, it's positively zany. <laughs> Zane. Just wacky. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, both players playing beautifully well. <laughs> who, who would win, a Yoshi or a Duck Hunt with prep time? With pre Ooh, God that's... damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Batman ass dog over here. <laughs> Ooh, oh, no tech, unfortunately, from Fawn, and that is actually going to be Raptor taking first stock despite the percent deficit. Is it ever a deficit against with Fawn? Ooh. Whoa. Gunman almost taking things. Unfortunately, not quite the right. Not the right gunman for the job. That's all right. Never send a man to do a dog's job. Yeah, I think that is how that goes. Ooh, yep, the double jump armor coming through for Raptor in that scenario. Fawn trying to find something off of the can at close range, but not quite finding it. All right, gunman. Shooting fast, but not fast enough. Oh, the sombrero guy hitting the can instead of continuing the pressure on sombrero Raptor. guy, please. Sombrero hombre. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sheriff coming in, not converting into the can, actually. I'm a little bit uh, surprised. Maybe Fawn kind of forgot which way the can was facing, which wasn't quite ready for that interaction. We, we can forgive her for that. She has been playing Wario all night. Duck Hunt does require, like, it basically just requires a lot of multitasking. Duck Hunt's basically an RTS-type character. What? Because there's a lot of a lot of layers to every to all your pressure. Like, all right, I gotta set my minions down here. I gotta get my can going. Now I can start pressuring with the, the clay pigeon. Okay, you have a point. We should tell Fawn that. Maybe we can get them into competitive Starcraft. <laughs> all right, Fawn though finding the up smash. Now finding herself in a stock lead. For the first time this uh, the set. I, mean, it oh, is I can't one. believe that was so oh. far away. Ooh. The can coming through, all, basically just shades of Luma. Like, hey, hands off. This is not your combo anymore. Shades of Luma comes in yellow, green, red, black. Well, I don't believe white. I do believe silver, though. All right, can coming in. Ooh, yeah, Raptor had to back off of that down air because the can was there but is able to find the follow-up back air. Yeah, they have a whole other stock to play with. At 92%, Yoshi's going to be living a long time. The Raptor is de definitely known for a <laughs> very gunman. patient play style. I love the way that Fawn was just like retreating and hiding behind that gunman as it took egg after egg. I mean, that it's poor okay. Poor guy. But we'll patch him up and he'll come right back. Why did that can just teleport to the stage? Frame one. All right, no traps here. Raptor avoiding everything. Yeah, and avoid that up smash. That, that's the set play that we're talking about. We have the can down below that platform, setting up the Sheriff, forcing Raptor into the high recovery, and Fawn ready with the up smash. No, and feeling very good. And do Oh, production. You have outdone yourself. We can see the, uh, the ban list from here. Very you cool. Actually not before. I No, actually. Uh, it comes and goes sometimes.
I haven't seen it in a while. It's always visible between the casters on the multi -group. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm blind, chat. <laughs> this is why I made it big on our end, because I'm like, no one pays attention. So It is still big on our end, but sometimes it, it covers up a little bit of the screen. Like, right now, I cannot see Raptor's face. There we go. Yeah, it's usually very, very small. I can't remember the last time I saw it like that large. It is new to make it painfully obvious. <laughs> ah. Right. So Raptor choosing to take us back to small battlefield. Very interesting because this is absolutely a fawn stage. Or at the very least, it's very much a duck hunt stage. With oh, yeah. how much like she's able to set up those little miniature obstacle courses with the the platforms and uh, ledge trapping scenarios. Yeah, I am surprised the Raptor didn't choose to go somewhere else, but must feel very comfortable here on Battlefield. Ooh, black hair guy coming in, not getting caught though. What Raptor has been conditioned to do now is not be above Fawn. They're going to be searching for ways to avoid that up smash, the up air. Yeah, but I mean, if you're playing this like, more grounded game, like, now you've got to deal with Gunman, you've got to deal with the Can, the Clay Pigeon. It's just so difficult for Raptor to find his way in. Right. Oh, no. Okay, the can still active. It was just a threat for so long. As you can see there, saving their double jump for the very last second. I love Fawn's awareness of her own resources. As soon as it looked like the can Ooh. was about to be out of that play, cool. she went to the other side to keep it going. That being said, though, Raptor now once again finding the first stock, just like we saw in uh, game one. Yo, Raptor playing kind of like John Numbers here, just camping the ledge. Oh, that being said, though, you can only take the high road recovery for so long. Eventually, there's going to be a can waiting there for you. My hat! Where did it He's go? He's bald! Bald! Everyone pointed him. Hey, eventually I too will be bald, but until then I'll be rocking the hair. Uh-oh. Oh, Clay Pigeon coming in. That normally would have been huge damage, but Raptor getting to live a little bit longer thanks to that double jump armor. And but a really good conversion oh, into the can. Great DI. Yeah, regardless of living these, like, huge combos, Fawn, Fawn hasn't needed huge combos in this set. No, this is a war of attrition. Oh, the can running out of life just a little bit too soon, but uh, confirming the can into the F-Tilt, Fawn now one stock away from moving on. It's often that Yoshis overwhelm their opponent with all of their power, like, all their, like, very big hitboxes. Font's not falling for any of this. Ooh. Ooh. Barely holding on, but what a catch from Raptor. Raptor one stock away from winning the game and being ever closer for getting an upset against one of, I would say, New York's top players. Absolutely. All right, these snipes with the can coming in from Fawn, but Raptor holding on, not going down without a fight as he gets this fantastic damage on. And dangerous roll in. Bond and not able to read it correctly. Going back to ledge themselves. I kick, just kicking that gunman into the pit. All right. Can isn't the problem oh, here. Oh, very scary situation getting sent in a tech situation next to the can. All right, can is coming their way, but it's gone. You sit up another one. I was gonna take it. I really appreciate the way that Raptor is trying to use the eggs to just disrupt all of the set play setup from Fawn. This, right. oh no, unfortunately Raptor not feeling confident enough to go out for a potential edge guard, and instead Fawn finds her way back into center stage, almost getting an up smash. I would say Duck Hunt Dog's recovery is deceptively strong because their their spike lasts so long. Uh oh. Yeah, definitely very scary. Raptor forced to take the high road once again as Fawn sits just comfortably in center stage. The no. sombrero guy almost taking it. All right. Avoiding near death there. Getting back on stage. Just out of range from the gunman. 
right? The lanky gunman not going to be taking it. That is, uh, I believe, the weakest or second weakest gunman. Uh, he's definitely one of the weakest. Oh, no. Oh! Can jump scare almost taking game two for fun. Raptor just trying to get in. Needs one good hit. So does Fawn. Okay, almost getting the neutral air. No one has been. I feel like the percentages have not changed. They haven't. In like okay. 30 All seconds. Stage. Raptor needs to make it. What attack? Oh, he did it. Oh, it's no. two attacks. Dash in. Oh my gosh. Fawn. Actually shielded the can. How are they going to make it back? All right, A. Fawn almost taking their own stock no. with the can, oh! but the lanky gunman, I was proven wrong. Oh, man. I'm well, writing my formal apology to lanky gunman. Lanky I didn't, gunman I didn't actually believe in it him. Out for once. It's okay, you know, he's going to get promoted to a uh, hat guy very soon. Absolutely. He deserves it. Especially after clutching that out, it really just came down to last hit situation. Look at it. Look. The eye the determination oh. in his eyes. Yeah, if we if we go back to that, like I think that was like what? Negative twenty frames? Right? We, it was definitely the situation where they're going, right? I would say probably tap speed. Hmm? And you, you gotta hit uh play right. again. Oh my apologies. Yeah, it just uh Oh gosh. Yeah, they had to jump, right? Because they wanted to avoid the can. And finally just like got hit by the last frame of the, of the bullets. Insane play there from Fawn. Absolutely. Insane play from both players. 